United USA. Check it out. Well, the head chair of the FCC, this is what Tom Wheeler had to say back in 2016 in rollout of 5G. Is the 5G will use much higher frequency bands than previously thought viable for mobile broadband and other applications. Such millimeter wave signals have physical properties that are both a limitation and a strength. They tend to travel best in narrow and straight lines, and they do not go through physical objects as well. But brilliant engineers have developed new antennas that can aim and amplify signals. Now, to make this work, five, the 5G build-out is going to be very infrastructure-intensive, requiring massive deployment of small cells. I'm confident that the actions will lead to a cornucopia of unanticipated, innovative uses and will generate tens of billions of dollars in economic activity. And that's damn important because it means that U.S. companies will be the first. Definitely sounds like a hard sales pitch to me. Check it out. This guy right here talking about 5G rollout back in 2016. Uh, for the rollout 2017 2018 when they did initiate it shows you a huge uh, initiative and um, those health surveys and studies we weren't really given the full information that's uh, another video as well but let me just go ahead and proceed with this listen up okay here we go why 5g is a national priority and stay out of the way of technological development unlike some countries we do not believe that we should spend the next couple of years studying what 5G should be or how it should operate. The future has a way of inventing itself. Turning innovators loose is far preferable to expecting committees and regulators to define the future. Yeah, um, what they're basically saying is we don't really need regulation on this. We don't need to define it. Let's just go ahead and let the future figure itself out. <laughs> That's what he's saying. He's saying basically don't put any restrictions or regulations on us. Let us do what we got to do. Even if it puts the public health at risk, we are still going to roll this out and let entrepreneurs and corporations get involved and let just let, you know, capitalism and just let freedom ring and just let it go. Let it let's just figure it out as we go. The future will just, we'll build the future, we'll make the rules as we go. That's exactly what he's saying. Let's continue to roll tape here. We won't wait for the standards. We're already seeing the industry gearing up to seize this opportunity. Verizon and AT&T tell us they'll begin deploying 5G trials in 2017. And the first commercial deployments they're talking about are expected in 2020. And we're not done. As part of our July 14 action, we also plan to ask for comments on opening up other high-frequency bands. Many of the high-frequency bands that we will make available for 5G currently have some satellite users, as well as some Defense Department applications, or at least the possibility of future satellite and defense users. This means sharing will be required between satellite and terrestrial wireless, an issue that is especially relevant the 28 gigahertz band. But if anyone tells you that they know the details of what 5G is going to become, run the other way. If something can be connected, it will be connected. Hundreds of billions of microchips connected in products from pill bottles to plant waterers. We must reject the notion that the 5G future will be the sole provenance of urban areas. What he's saying right there is the 5G is going to be everywhere, in, even across the street in front of your house on a light pole. All corners of our country. A lot more antenna sighting decisions by local governments and tightened our shot clock for sighting application reviews. America's local governments will play an important role in determining how we fulfill this national priority. You can be sure of only one thing. The biggest Internet of Things application has yet to be imagined. Tens of billions of dollars 